Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is this. I have not started decoding these plates, but I have decoded some of the trains. Some of the train tires, and I know it's not even here, but some of the train tires, I saw they have spokes. When you have 17 spokes, regardless of what you do, you cannot put each one opposite of each other. So regardless of what you do, there will always be two somewhere against one. Two against one is because here's the center and here's each side. Doesn't it look like the pharaoh? Now, I would tell you to look at it this way. This is your head in different layers. This is your two eyes. This is the cross, and this is down, I, I'm assuming, by your chin. See the way it runs into your chin upside down? So now you can see yourself. This is not what we want to do. What we're getting to right now is this. Inside of here, inside of this, is this. Goes right inside. They cut off the corners. Inside the corners, okay, there's so many things. There's just so many things. First of all, if you want to duplicate something, both sides of the brain, you want to duplicate something, you're duplicating. Now you're duplicating. You've got both sides of the brain. When a horse runs around the track, they do this. He's got a number on each side. But it seems like you never get to see the outside number. You only get to see one side of the number. This is where the area takes place. You see the 11, the two lines over here? Everything is curved. Everything is curved. It's like an almond. Everything is curved like an almond. I had it in a dream a few years ago. It always works out. What happens when you curve one side and the other side? You end up taking part of the right. You curve part of the left. And both sides end up to be part of the center. The center thinking that keeps in line with the both sides of your brain. So now you have this side of the ball. You see this? It goes all the way to here. It's one piece. It's like a water tank. Here's one piece holding water, and here's another piece holding water. Did you ever see Jack and, not Jack and Jill the movie, but there was a movie a couple of weeks ago. They went up to the water tank. It's always at the water tank, cooling everything down below. So now you have here one area where it comes into. Now this might be just a cross. Excuse me. This might be just a cross. Do you see the way it's one line this way, one line this way, bringing the energy of both sides? And then here, 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 and all the four sides are parts of Rubik's Cube. Four by nine is 36. CFL, they don't, they, they don't, CFL, they don't stop the clock on the extra point because it's 55 yards. The spirit of 76 means man and his body never stop working 24 hours a day. But when it comes to the, to the NFL, the NFL is N5F6, which is right away the white wolf, which is the energy. The NFL reverse from the CFL. One is C for creation, okay, of all, because three times three is nine. Four times two is eight. Three and four is seven. Four times three is 12. It equals to 19. 19 and eight. This is your dome. Nine and eight is your birth in the dome. It's like there's a little thing going zzz, 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 like a little cat's penis. You know the noodle they talk about? Are you using your noodle? There's this Rubik's Cube. You see all the strings? No strings attached? Eh? No strings attached because when they made us, they weren't looking for Einstein. Frank Einstein, to be frank and frankly, F and R. F is six, R is six, 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 A is one. You create the one spirit. And I wish I could show you everything that I see, all the numbers, even the CFL, even the NFL scoring, six, one, and three points. The letter P is the one spirit of the six light. One light lights up six, and that six. Uh, that one light continues on to light up two, and then it lights up four. How do I know? Because one, three, and four in the dice is what brings you into light. My cats took all my dice. My cats run away with everything. One, three, and five says ace on the keyboard in the one, three, and five position. Okay, it says cat. It's the ace cat. Um, the whiskers 
are probably because they're connected in or there's a vibration and they sense from the whiskers the same thing with us. Ah, I'm not telling it the way it is, but what I do want to show you, okay, is you come into the world, you have your mother, 20, why not 21? Because she's just who you are, she's not your spirit. She gives you 20. Five and four, she brings you the sun. Five times four, five plus four, brings you the it of the Rubik's Cube. Five, five, five times five times five times five equals 625 times one and four, which is AD, which is Alpha Delta, which is the spirit and the sandbox. The spirit in the sandbox, the prism comes in of Earth and it lights up. And then you have uh, inside your head, you have that prism, the two points that are over here in your nose, your triangle. It's inside some sort of cage inside. So when you see it on this side, your father and your mother 2020 and you're 1221. I can't explain to you right now why you're 1221, but if you look on this side, there's nine. If you look on the side, there's 12. That's your 21 and 12 is the nine and the 12 because that's what connects your head. This connects your whole entire body. But the thing is in life, once you come into your 1221, you become 33, 43, 53, 63, 73. This is your Nibiru. Nibiru is con connected somehow directly to you. But now, this is what happens in life. Now the moon comes from the sky. One, two, three, four. Then the two hands connect, the string in the middle, and then your soul. You're now connected to the moon. How do I know? Because here it is. Look, Hellboy. So now you have the two sides. 20, you see now, 21, 21. 20 and 21 is actually free parking in New York City, the Big Apple. I'll take a bite out of that. Anyways, I'm not really sure. I'm doing these. I just, I'm not happy with myself. I'm just not happy because I see more than I actually can explain it for the value of what's in my mind and what I'm putting on screen. I see myself that I'm not happy with this. I, I also came up with this thing with the uh, Fibonacci in which you can go into three uh, dimensions in the Fibonacci by not only adding the numbers together, but every time they come to a double digit, you actually bring it down to a single digit, but never past 100. The other thing about the Fibonacci is that the last two numbers come up to 89, and 89 is exactly what it is. 9 and 8 is 17. The one spirit of the six passages of light create that one seven area, seven, seven, and seven. Seven of three areas is seven and three. That's what Nibiru is all about. That's what Nibiru is all about. It's bringing back the three worlds together. And we're, we're aligning because in numbers and what I see, we're aligning. Oh, I forgot to show you the belly button. And we just talked about that tonight. Okay, B and B, the belly button is actually what? If you take it, it's the eye in the sky somehow because all your strands that you were born with, you were pumped up from the belly button. Once it gets cut off, your belly button doesn't get cut off from inside of you. It keeps on going and connects you because it's 22 belly button. It automatically connects you to Neptune. And Neptune is your, is your skull. It's your, it's your dome. Neptune is the strands that show you the light. And if you ever look at the moon, you can see inside the moon that the light is there. Raphael 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus. Thank you for